What's up guys, Shuri here, and today I'm going to show you why that nerf to Yacht was really a buff. First, I'm going to show you some gameplays from after the update, then I'm going to show you one from before, and again, one from after, so you can see exactly how much a difference it makes. And I know what you're thinking, if they lowered the damage and didn't really increase anything, how is it not a nerf? And the answer is, they actually increased their hit registration. Yaw used to have a big problem when you and the other guy were jumping at the same time. It couldn't really register nearly as well as it probably should have. But it does now. It is actually a lot better, and it's also a lot better at registering headshots. So while your damage is is technically lower than it would have been before if you were shooting someone when you and them are standing still if you're moving and they're moving or just one or the other it will actually help you out a lot you'll hit a lot more of the bullets than you would have before so the small amount of damage that you technically do lose overall is 100 percent a buff you do more damage, especially if you're very active, which you should be if you're using Yaw. And if you're jumping and you're playing against really good players, it's going to help you a lot. So right there, we are able to get the kills with 25% headshots, which is really good. And it really made a huge difference. But this is how it used to be before. So... In that other gameplay, your shots registered pretty much right away, and it worked great. Right here, that does not happen. You actually do take a while to have things register, unless you're standing still or you and the other person are moving in the same direction. That's why we were able to kill that Gloria pretty easily, but right here, it's a lot harder to get these things to register. That's why you got a lot more of your kills from dashing or using your ult, and a lot of the time, you would need to just use your dash to get into a good spot and then post up there and kind of wall peek or just have a really good height advantage. But as you can see right here, we are having a lot more trouble when we're moving and they're moving. And these issues weren't happening in that first gameplay. Don't worry, I will show you more gameplays after the update, after this game's finished, and I'll let you know when that happens so you can really get a feel for how much it changes. But right here, we just go ahead and use our ult, because in a lot of cases, if you were fighting another aggro, that was really your only option. And it is really annoying when things don't register, but the worst part is, if one of you were standing still, it would work great, and then right here, when me and him are moving, it registers a a lot less that's gone now you actually register most of your shots the way it really should have done in the first place and i think that is the real reason that they had to nerf the damage because imagine if you're doing these kind of headshot damages but it's actually hitting the shots the way it should have it would be absolutely awful and yaw would be just by far the best hero in the game. Honestly, I still think Yaw's one of the stronger heroes even after the nerf because of the fact that it registers more. And that's why I don't think it's a nerf at all. It's pretty much a buff. And not just a buff, but playing it feels so much better because you don't have the frustration of knowing you're pointing at the guy. And just right here where it just hit like three shots while I was pointing at him for quite a while. In that same exact scenario, it would have killed him after the update. And that is just a lot better because you don't get the frustration of knowing, hey, what I did should have helped and it should have been okay, but it just wasn't. And again, I'm going to show you more gameplay from after the update, but I just wanted you to see how it used to be so you can really see how much better it is now. So remember how it wasn't really registering that well, and then think about how compared to that, this is now, even though you're doing less damage, these shots are 100% hitting way better and way more often. So there is less damage, and even though they didn't increase your shot speed, you are hitting more shots per second just because they're simply hitting more. That shot and kill on that Gloria right there would have only hit maybe two, maybe three of those shots, and it hit all of them right there. It just beams that guy. I 
didn't even have to dash him. And right here, <laughs> I just see the guy getting carried away by Walling's uh, ability, so that didn't really mean anything. I, I just stole a kill, which is the best part about Ya. Yeah. And the fact that your shots hit immediately now, you can steal way more kills. Right there, that was me screwing up, not ya, yeah, just to be clear. And right there, I dash in and just do straight damage with no problems. Right here, this guy has immunity from spawning and then he uses his ult. So I just decided to dash away so I can go kill someone else. No need to play into his ult. And great news, we were able to get the kill on the Christina. We do end up dying to the next guy, but that's fine. We still got the kill. And then right there, we do a little bit of damage, all of it registering. We dash in, immediately get the kill on the Yaw. And then we're going to go ahead and heal and then just chase after the mark. This is just absolutely amazing. The way the game always kind of should have felt. And I love it. It just feels so much better knowing that I'm aiming at the guy and it's hitting him. And if I die, it's my fault. Before, it was really frustrating with Yaw. And then if you just put any amount of lag into it, it was just unbearable. And to be clear, it still kind of is unbearable. But that's just because any kind of aggro and lag in this game do not mix at all. Which, I mean, that's fine. It's a lot better than it was, which is really all I care about. And another cool thing, I got hit by the second ult from Hua Ling, and I was able to dash out of it. I didn't know you could do that, so if you ever get hit by it, I would try to dash immediately. But anyways, as you can see in this game, it, it registers just so much better. And this is a more closed map, so I'm going to show you also like a more open-ended map that's a little bit longer range, so you can see it works there too. But... Overall, I think that this change is huge. It makes Yaw way more fun to play, way less frustrating, and what I think it was always kind of intended to be, where your gun does a lot more of the killing, and it's not just about getting your ult and dashing, but you can actually do a lot with your gun. I love that, and I love Yaw, especially the new version, although I did like the old version too. I am a fan of this character in general. And if you guys want me to make a uh, tutorial on how to play Yaw, especially the new version of Yaw, I'm more than happy to do that. Just let me know in the comments below and please like this video. It helps it get shared to more people. And I think more people deserve to know that if they were frustrated with Yaw before, it is a lot easier to do now. And it's a lot more fun, at least to me anyways. Uh, especially if you can just like blindside people, you can do a ton of damage right off the bat and then you can dash into them, which then gives you another dash right after, which is just absolutely great, especially because it also reloads. Before you would shoot an entire clip and then need to dash a lot of the times, now you can get kills just off the first clip alone. It allows you to get way, way more like multi kills and streaks going. And this is in free for all, which Yaw isn't the strongest character at, especially with the, something like a Hunter or like Mark or Gloria. Like those are much better characters in free for all in general. So it's really cool that you can actually compete with those, especially with your gun. And it's not just a game of waiting till your ult comes up or just hoping your dash is there or just at that exact right time but instead your dash is there when you need it and if it's not your gun can actually pick that slack up and that is just something that I am just so happy about I know I've said that a couple times but you guys have no idea how frustrated I get when lag kind of screws things up so this character really really would get on my nerves sometimes so the fact they fix that is amazing and the most confusing nerf of the last update makes complete sense now. If they didn't do it, this character would just be so OP. It would almost be, um, I don't know, like Fort. Yeah, yeah that character is really good. Um, I've only had it for about like 12 hours now, and I have it to a 1,000 rating. Uh, I'll make a video on that. Uh, that character is insane. But until then, thank you to my supporters and channel members. And I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you have a great day.